Do you know how to work with linear equations that are in point-slope form? Well, first, here's an example of point-slope form. y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x1. In this form of the equation, m represents the slope, x1 and y1 represent an ordered pair, so we would have x1, y1. Now let's look at an example that's in point-slope form. y minus 6 equals 4 times the quantity x minus 2. Now in this example, 4 represents the slope. 2 and 6 represent the values from an ordered pair. But this example, we now want to write into slope-intercept form. Do you know how to do that? Well, first, Here's an example of what slope-intercept form looks like. It needs to be in the form y equals mx plus b. So when we can take this equation, which is in point-slope form, and rewrite it into slope-intercept form, then our work will be complete. Let's look at how to do that. Here's the equation again in point-slope form. Now the first thing we're going to do to write it into slope-intercept form is to get rid of the parentheses on the right side of the equation. So let's bring down the y minus 6. And now we're going to use the distributive property and distribute this 4. 4 times x equals 4x. 4 times negative 2 equals negative 8. Now we need to get y alone. Because remember, we want to write this equation in the form y equals mx plus b. So let's add 6 to both sides. These cancel, bring down the y. y equals 4x minus 2. Now the equation is written into slope-intercept form, and our work is complete. Let's take a look at another one y minus 8 equals 3 times the quantity x plus 5. Again, this is in point-slope form. So the first thing we're going to do is get rid of the parentheses on the right side of the equation by using the distributive property. We're not going to touch the left side, so we can bring that down. y minus 8 equals 3 times x, which is 3x, plus... 3 times 5, which is 15. Now we want to get y alone, so let's add 8 to both sides of this equation. These cancel, bring down the y. 3x can just come down. And we have 15 plus 8, which is equal to plus or positive 23. Here's the equation in slope-intercept form and our work is now complete. You've learned how to take an equation that's in point-slope form and write it into slope-intercept form.